dirty south, dirty, dirty, uh, we dirty. Uh, can y'all really feel me? I got better. Girl. East Coast feel me. Uh -huh. West Coast feel me. <laughs> can y'all really feel me? Feel it. East Coast feel me. West Coast feel me. Uh -huh. Dirty south, dirty, dirty. Uh -huh. Can y'all really feel me? Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ever had a wig, an old synthetic one you wanted to revive? Look no further. I'd like to think of myself as a synthetic specialist. <laughs> On a real note though, I've been working with synthetic wigs for forever. So we're gonna be reviving this wig into a nice, beautiful, new looking wig. And we can do so, we have the skills. So first and foremost, this is a straight wig, so I'm not really sure how this would translate on a curly wig, but TBD, we'll figure that out. First thing I'm doing is detangling, just brushing out the wig. This is the most important part because I don't know about y'all, but when I wear wigs, I get sweaty right around my neck part and then that's where it naps up and kinks up the most. So I'm just making sure to get all of those snags out of the hair so that when we wash it, you know, it's so fresh and so clean. So our next step is going to be to boil some water. I'm going to be using this water to pour on top of my wig. And this hot water, extra boiling water, is really going to serve to just smooth out the hair, get it nice and silky straight the way we want it to. Little disclaimer, just be extra careful, of course, with boiling water. I always get super paranoid whenever I work with boiling water that I'm going to spill it on myself or just do something really dumb and like spill it. So just, yeah, be careful. So next I'm adding in fabric softener. I just picked up some gain from a Walmart and I'm putting two caps worth in. Honestly, this is to help soften up the hair, but I'm going to tell you now your wig's going to smell like fabric softener and it's very strong. I like the smell of this, but just in case. And last, I'm going to be using this Aussie Miracle Conditioner. I think it's the three-in-one. I don't remember, but I'll put it on the screen. And I just squirted. I didn't really measure that. I just squirted it all over the wig. And then I carefully went in and kind of washed it around. I used the end of my brush. So, yeah, I basically just mixed this around till it gave me a nice little milky bath. I don't even know what to call it, but I let this sit in the water for about 10-15 minutes. And then once the water wasn't as hot, I took the wig out and just brushed through it again real quick just while it was in the water so it wouldn't get any more tangles. So for our next step, we of course blow drying this wig out. I'm just using this blow dryer I got from the beauty supply store and it has a bristly end attachment. So I'm just running that through. I'm also blow drying the inside of the wig because I hate that feeling where it's wet around the inside, but the outside is dry. I just have a wig cap on and I'm slipping that bad boy on. This is a lace front or wig or you know, it has lace on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down. I'm gonna be using got to be the lovely got to be to be honest i've used both the black one and the yellow one the free spray and i prefer the free spray just because a it goes on and i use that blow dryer to set it and it's instantly dry y'all know my patience is like at 0.0 percent but again i feel like this one is a little bit less messy i mean the the gel is not that bad at all i used the gel for years but i personally like the free spray because it goes on a lot quicker but I will say the free spray, um, little ends of my frontal will pop up when I have the free spray. So I just have to be really careful and make sure all the ends are glued down. And I also wanted to say, since we're on the subject of gluing our wigs down, I did use Isha hair glue for a year straight almost. I loved it because A, it lets you kind of have it on overnight. I mean, if you're the type of person who sleeps in your wigs, it's really good for that. And then again, it was waterproof, so you could get in the shower with it, swim with it, all that good stuff. But what I did not like about it and why I no longer use it is because y'all, it ruins my wigs. All the wigs that I used with that glue, because you have to take it off with a uh, rubbing alcohol, it takes out the frontal hairs, like the little baby hairs, and just like your frontal gets messed up so quickly. So I had to stop using that and I'm back on got to be. And like I said, I like the free spray because it's super simple to use and it comes right off and my frontal stays squeaky clean.
Okay, so next is my favorite part, which is flat ironing the hair. I love it just because I just like the feeling and the look of flat ironed hair. It just gives a nice finished look. As you can see, the hair is pretty shiny in its own. I didn't have to add any oils or anything. It's already looking straight, and I think that that's definitely thanks to the boiling water and fabric softener mixed with conditioner. But again, I'm just taking my flat iron and running it through, working section by section, getting that nice silky look. And I'm pretty sure I did a whole other video on a review of this wig where I bumped the ends, but this time I'm just keeping it straight and slicking it down all the way. By the way, I'm going to list that video at the end of this video, and if you want to check that out, you can. This is a super affordable wig. I like that it's short, but it's, it's like a bob, but it's not. It's a longer bob. It's a little bit asymmetrical if you look at it all together. The front is just a little bit longer than the back, but it's nothing drastic, I feel like. And it did come pre-plucked, all that good stuff. Like, I barely did anything. Um, to make it blend in at the top, I did put a little bit of foundation. I'm pretty sure that's going to be later in the video, but I'm getting ahead of myself. But yeah, it's a pretty cool wig. And the fact that I'm able to revive it and it still looks brand new. Are you kidding me? We love Again, I don't know if this technique would work the same for a curly wig, just because with curly hair, I mean, I think you could definitely do the boiling water thing still, but you know, obviously no straightener. Maybe we'll try it out soon. I do have some curly wigs that need revamping. We'll see. But y'all, this wig is giving and it was so soft. I like how I'm straightening it and it's not like super stiff. I hate that when it gets straight, but you can barely move it any. So the fact that this is still moving and here with us, we're grateful. This wig is a 10 out of 10 for sure. Okay, next are baby hairs, and I don't usually do the baby hairs that come on a wig just because of the struggle, but I thought I might for this one. Um, these ones I had just left in the first time when I reviewed the wig, but I went ahead and cut them just to kind of, I just wanted two little swoops in the front, nothing crazy. The way that the wig is anyway, it was kind of pre-plucked already, so I didn't have to do any baby hairs going down. I mean, I could have, but I just wanted the ones in the front. So I'm just taking my comb, and then I took a little bit of edge control and just did the two front baby hairs. While those are kind of setting, I'm just going in again because I'm super OD and just have to straighten it a thousand million times, but I'm just going in and straightening it one more time just because, you know, what's the harm? <laughs> so guys, this is our final look. I feel like I like this even more than the first time around when I wore it. Um, I love reviving wigs if possible. I know that not all wigs can be revived. I understand some are just uh, ready to go. But if you can consider before throwing out that old synthetic or real hair, if you have a real hair wig, you definitely better revive it. But synthetic wigs can last. They can last a long time and we can reuse them. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let's be YouTube friends forever. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.